hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this google chrome animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin and don't forget to check out my logo animation masterclass course on udemy link is available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So first of all here we are in photoshop now i have this uh, google chrome logo over here and first of all we need to do uh, some separations over here now in this logo i don't need this white portion so i'll simply press e to select my eraser tool let's go inside this and um, over here uh, we are going to choose magic eraser tool and we will simply click on this white color so it will remove that then we will press l for lasso tool uh, and then i'm going to select this much portion like this so basically we are selecting this ellipse inside of this logo then press ctrl x create new layer press ctrl shift v to paste in place and then press ctrl s to save this photoshop file so now uh, basically this is just uh, cutting the ellipse from the center so now we have these two layers on separate layer so simply save this file and now i'll go to the after effects i'll go to the new composition and then i'm going to call it as main animation width i'm going to choose 1920 height 1080 frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose let's say 20 second long and background color is white color simply hit ok and hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action now press ctrl i on your keyboard to import your photoshop file i'll select this photoshop file footage i'll choose composition return layer sizes and simply hit import and hit ok now double click to open this select both of them and hit ctrl c to copy go over here and simply hit ctrl v and right click new and i'm going to create one null object select both of them and let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s uh, and decrease the scale and let's make this 15 and let's delete it select both of them and let's try to adjust them properly at the center okay so we will get something like this now we need scaling animation for them and also rotation animation so we will select this one first press s create one keyframe select this press s create another keyframe uh, zoom in a little bit go to around 1.10 frames again create another keyframe then i'll go to the start i'll select this layer over here i'll press r for rotation create one keyframe and over here i'm going to make this minus 180 then go over here and let's make this zero okay hit u again so we can see both the keyframes so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of animation let's select both the keyframe or i mean all the keyframes and i'm going to hit f9 to easy miss those keyframes i'll go to the graph editor right click and make sure to choose edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here so you will get something like this and go to the start and let's make the scale zero so if you see we will get this kind of pop-up animation now first i want the animation of this blue one then i'll go to five frames and then i want this animation should start so i'll move this over here so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this or instead of that you can choose this one over here and this one over here in opposite direction so uh, i think this looks also good so i'll stick with that now uh, uh, select this one uh, or uh, simply select both of them and try to adjust them properly at the center like this zoom in a little bit yeah then uh, right click new and i'm going to create one null object select both of them and let's make it apparent with this null object let's make this fit and after this animation i'll select this null object press p let's zoom in let's go to around one second over here create one keyframe go to around 2.10 frames i'm gonna move this from here to here and go to the start press s create one keyframe hit u go over here and let's make this something like this now we have to add our text over here so i'm going to select my text and i'm going to choose type chrome for the font choose poppins and i'm going to choose regular version 
select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s and adjust the size now we need both of them properly at the center so i'll move this over here then select this null object make sure that you are at this keyframe and try to move this over here and try to move this over here like this okay so we'll get something like this now select those keyframes and hit f9 again like this so we will get this kind of animation okay then let's select this press r i don't think we need to press r over here let's select this press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here and we can rotate it like this or you can simply make this minus one also uh, and also select those keyframes and hit f9 so you will get something like this okay or let's do one thing let's make this minus two okay uh, now select all, all the keyframes and let's go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and move this handle over here so let's go to the start first this then i'll get something like this let's select those keyframes and move this somewhere around over here like this okay select all the uh, layers and also enable the motion blur so we'll get something like this now uh, we need each and every alphabet for this one on separate layer so for this one i'm going to choose let's say red color then select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to delete this alphabets select this and choose black color at least for now press ctrl alt home hit ctrl d move this over here let's type h move this over here hit ctrl d type r hit ctrl d type o hit ctrl d type m hit ctrl d and type e like this okay select all of this alphabets and press ctrl alt home to align their anchor point to their respective centers okay so what i want is from this points i want they should start to bounce over here so let's move this over here press p for position and select this position right click choose separate dimension also select this one right click separate dimension separate dimension separate dimension separate dimension and separate dimension so first of all we will create animation for this ones so let's select all of them create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y go to around two seconds again create one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y go to around 2.10 frames create one keyframe at y and in middle of that we will bring this a little bit upward okay now in search option i'll type y only let's select those keyframes and i'm going to hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes then go to the graph editor select this graph uh, oops uh, i think in middle of that also uh, we need to move this upward so i'm going to move this somewhere around over here like this okay i think this much looks good then i'm going to select those keyframes i'll go to the graph editor select this by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here select this zoom in a little bit and move this handle over here select this go over here zoom in select this and move this handle over here and move this handle over here and move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so we will get something like this now this is for uh, a y position but we don't want only y position we need x and position also so in search option now i'm going to type x only so it will show me x positions only so hit u uh, let's say and now uh, I want the animation should start from E so let's delete this extra chrome layer we don't need that so let's select this E but before that select all of them press R for rotation create one keyframe hit U 
go to two second and let's make this minus one or let's i think plus one should be good so let's make this plus one so if i see i'll get something like this okay this looks good uh, then uh, at this point uh, press s create one keyframe hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this scale somewhere around like this okay now hit page down button one time or, or try to move this indicator over here now i want this e should come from this yellow one so i'll select this and i'll move this over here press p and change the x position of this one over here so if you see we will get something like this then from this one i want this m should come so i'll move this over here press p and change the m over here move m this over here hit page down button again select this one o press p go over here move this over here and change this over here hit page down button again select this one again move this backward select this one and move this over here press p and change this r over here hit page down button two times again select this edge press p move this over here and change the x position over here hit page down button again to the red select this c move this over here press p and we will move this c over here so now it will look like that they are coming from this one okay so first of all uh, we now we need to change the color of this alphabets so first of all select this e and over here with the help of this picker i am going to select this color so it will look like that it's coming from this one then this m should be in a green color so i'll select this green color then this o should be red so i'll choose red then this one should be yellow this one should be green and this one should be red and also enable their respective motion blur so now if i see this animation i'll get this and then this okay so this is like uh, this animation and now i'm going to select uh, all of them and i'll press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll bring them at the top and for them i'm going to choose black color or instead of black i would suggest to choose something like grayish color and hit ok and change the color of this one to yellow let's say i mean over here now um, for each and every one I am going to enable the, the this layers over here. So press T for opacity. Let's make this zero initially. Create one keyframe and go hit page down button up to four times or let's say five times and let's make this opacity hundred. So what will happen initially? It's yellow, but then it becomes uh, this color. Okay. Similarly, I am going to copy those keyframes. I'll hit Control C. Then I on this M, I'll hit Control V. Hit U or you can press t also then for this o i want the shift in color over here so i'll hit u control v again to paste that opacity keyframe then again at for this r i'll hit control v that opacity keyframes for this h i'll hit control v press t to see that opacity keyframes then i'll select this c I'll hit Ctrl V T to see that opacity keyframes. Okay, so if you see this stuff now, we will get something like this. Okay, so if you see this animation over here, I'll get this and then this. Okay, so this is how you can create this kind of simple logo reveal animation inside of After Effects and press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose this and I'm going to call it as Crow and hit OK. Hit Ctrl D, press S, unlink this and let's make this minus 100. Press P for position and bring this downwards. Press T for opacity, let's make this opacity 50. Select this, select this rectangle selection tool, select this much portion, go to the mask properties and increase the mask feathers and press T for opacity and let's decrease the opacity a little bit. So now if you see, we'll get something like this. And uh, at this point let's say select this press p and bring this downwards over here 
like this so you will get something like this and press ctrl y to create one solid background and move this over here and you can go in this animation up to six seconds maybe and hit n then right click new and create one null object select all of these layers except this white layer and make it apparent with this null 3 select this null 3 go to the start create one keyframe and at the end i'm going to make this 90 so if you see this animation now first i'll get this then i'll get this so this is how you can create simple logo reveal animation inside of after effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned